Before we get started, here are a few things. It would be awesome if you watched the whole video. In this video, we were driven to Toys for Bob. We passed the Golden Gate Bridge. Once there, we got a tour of their headquarters. We attended three cool workshops. Then we had a chance to interview Ewan Huang, Alex Ness, and Paul Ritchie. But of course, we didn't forget about those cool toys in the headquarters. We have five minutes of rare and unreleased Skylanders toy footage just for you. Wait till you see other Skylanders. Awesome. Also in this video, we hear about three new Series 3 characters coming. That's a Skylanders Boy and Girl exclusive. Exclusive! We eat some food. We act a little crazy. We saw someone get arrested at Toys for Bob. No! We rapped the magic song. We met a subscriber. Somebody yelled at me. We signed our first autograph. We show you some swap first action. Well, kind of. We found out who Paul Ritchie has a crush on. Ooh. We saw what Chaos's mother looks like. And we got some goodbye goodies. Warning, if you skip ahead, you might miss some cool parts of our video. But we provided a timeline of events just to be nice. Thanks and enjoy. All right, guys, come on. We're going to go. They're waiting for us. I got the, the van downstairs. Oh, let me see your shirt. Nice. Let me see your hat, Mike. Nice. Skylander girl, Skylander boy. The adventure starts now. Yes! Let's get this party started. <laughs> no! Now there's a red one! Red! Red, 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 red! And there's a lot of Michaels. Michaels? Let's have a dance party. Let's have a dance party with hey, Skylander dance. Woo, woo. Bouncer. Yep. Yeah. Just knew it because, look, it's so good. This is my washbuckler shirt. I'll have to sit behind you guys? Okay. Well, I'll, I'll put it back to you. Guys, it's chilling. It's having so long. Lucky ball. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is that a cool See the bridge? bridge? Yeah. You like that bridge? Yeah. I made that bridge. Made it? Yes, I did. Mm. I created you it. You came down here last week and made it. Yep. Just for you. Piece of cake. Are we going on the Golden Gate Bridge? Yes, we are. Is that? Oh my gosh, guys, look at the bridge. Swarm is on it. The arrival at Toys for Bob. Here we are. You guys getting ready? Yeah! We're going to go and our We're not going hunting. <laughs> Scarlet's rocking with Skylander Dad, right? She, she's trying to cut your shirt. <laughs> about how to make games and write stories and create characters. We're going to see the whole studio, all of that. We're at the Skylander's headquarters, right? Yeah. And we're going to show you that they could turn Skylander Girl into Hothead. You guys want to see? Hey, I'm on fire! Look, it's Hothead. Hey, I'm on fire! It's not quite Hothead's wheels, but look at that. It's a Skylander's oh, bike! Cool. The office had a lot of cool things on the wall. They even had a wall that was dedicated to the Skylanders' abilities. The Wall of Abilities! You guys getting your health up? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Look, like to me, you got this a mac and cheese. Michael's very passionate about food. Yeah, I am. Before we did our first workshop, they gave us a sneak peek of what Chaos's mother looks like. We managed to get the copy of the video. Shh. Take a look. Is that who I think it is? Mother? Uh-oh. Got you! <laughs> On to the first workshop. We got all of you your own pad of paper and colored pencils to inspire you with a blank piece of paper to um, also make your own doodles and creations. And Hello. Hello. So my name's Ewan. I draw the characters here. So I do the, the enemies, the NPCs, and the, the Skyler toys. So a lot of people ask me how do you come up with these ideas. Basically, I just draw. Like, I've been drawing since your age, I just never stopped. I just keep drawing. 
But sometimes the, the designers, they come, come to me and ask me, hey, can you make a character that does this and this and this? And I do it too. We got to see some really cool Skylanders concept art. It's pretty funny, right? He's kind of a funny character, but... He's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I know, but he looks more like an NPC or something. He doesn't look like a very capable character. Not a character you want to play at least. So I decided to make him more like, a, like adding some mold into it because he digs, you know? And so then we added more rocks and stuff on his arms and there's all the gems on his back. Because he's a dominant you right? And then he had orange rocks on his back. Yeah. Tree Rex started out as a light giant. No, no hermit. Yeah, yeah, he like does look like a hermit. King and then, of the and then I took him here. Smash. Now he's starting to look like Stump Smash, huh? but he still looks a little bit different. And I started making different clothing for him and different weapons and different colors. I mean, that's basically how I make characters for Skylander. It all starts with just like what he's doing right now. He's doodling. We all just draw lots and lots and lots of characters, and then we refine and change and, until we find something that's like perfect, you know, as, as good as we can make it. And it usually it's rare that it's only one drawing. Usually it's, so you can see, there's tons of drawings. Let's put the top left one. He drank Pop Fizz's potion, right? Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's called the Chompy Mage. You're right, that's the Chompy Mage. That's it. Um, Gumshake, yeah, Gumshake. that's what it looks like. And you guys have Skylander Well, we just did it for fun. A lot of times we print out stuff that we have just to see what it looks like. And Michael brought his modified punch pop fist to show e -way. That's a great idea. And I have a question for e -way. Well, it's pretty good. Talk, Mike. I have a question. Do you have a question? I do. It's just that I need to draw the question. Oh, you're going to draw the question? Okay. Hold on. How long is that going to take, Mike? Let me know. But if you're not done drawing your um, question, maybe we could get Ewe to answer that later. Your, uh, Tomorrow, it's fine. <laughs> we'll have to be in drawing form. I don't think Michael ever finished his question, but we did keep drawing. Awesome job. The second workshop the kids attended was all about writing a storyline for a children's video game. Well, I'm lucky enough to get to work on story stuff for Skylanders, which can factor into everything from what you do in levels and who characters are. We have to describe some of the characters in the Skylanders game. The first one was Chaos. He has a sidekick. He has a sidekick. Who's a sidekick? Glumshanks. Glumshanks. He's a bad guy. He is a bad guy. Look at my picture of Hothead. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's talk real quick about Lynn and Callie over here. And how would you describe them? Lynn's in love with Callie. How does she feel about him? Do you think they should get married? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes. Uh, how about he flies airplanes. That's right. Lynn is a pilot. And he wears a belt. <laughs> he wears a belt. All right. Boom. That's right. Boom. Boom. What would you say about Callie? What's she like? She gives you her heroic challenge. That's right. Callie gives you heroic challenge. This? Uh, when has gloves? <laughs> he does have gloves. He does have gloves. All right. So Flynn has gloves. But see, that's important because you could start a story with Flynn trying to get some new gloves. Because we know he likes gloves. How about you? Uh, yes? Uh, he wears a green jacket. Okay, fair enough. See, he would be great as a uh, running into rocks and stuff. Or what if Flynn machine. gets a time travel machine? He thinks he's buying a new ship. What if it opens with the door and like flying across the street? So that was part of our second workshop. Just before our third one, we were interrupted as the police showed up to arrest someone. Freeze! You're under arrest! It turns out that Ghost Roaster was stealing Batterson's pies. You know, from the Dark Light Crypt. Remember. Suspects are innocent until proven guilty. 
The next workshop is all about animating Skyliners. When the characters are set, then the animators make them move. So, do you guys know the Cyclops spinner? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got an axe, right? And he kind of like spins around and tries to attack you. So I'm trying to explore a, a bunch of different ideas. Like maybe he swings and he chops it and he gets stuck in the ground. Or maybe he, he carries it above his head and he's going to throw it at you. Or maybe he's going to threaten you with it and point it at you like this. So this is, even before we touch the computer at all, we're truly exactly what you're doing. We're just trying to scribble a bunch of different ideas. And then once we kind of come with some ideas, then we can start to work in the computer. We'll create different poses. The big drill board. Yeah, that one. Uh, the big drill board. So this is Drill X. And the, not many people get to see about animation because most people get to see like the little movies that I just showed you, right? But not really the working files that it takes to make the characters. Now we go to interview you. You rap a song. Dude, shake your hand. Oh, thank you. I shake your hand. I was just saying, my, my son loves, loves, loves all your videos. Oh my god, that's We're so cool. Just, how about you guys come around? You guys come sit? We didn't, we never received a... We didn't, we never received a... Did you see that? I dropped his rare chrome spyro. He got very mad at me. What have you done? Just kidding, he was an angel. He draws them. Yeah, I designed the characters. Well, I designed the characters too, but I just <laughs> colored them. Cool. Yeah, he colors a lot. Good job. <laughs> How do you just like draw like random things and just like just see if it's cool? I doodle. You know how when I when I don't know what to draw, you know what I do? I draw lots of little circles and just random shapes. And then I try to draw what I see from that. I just keep drawing until it feels right. Until I know that's the right character. And usually it's just it's a lot of drawings. Like I draw one character, it's like, that's it. And it's like, no, wait, what if I do this and that and try to change it a little bit? And then sometimes it's better, sometimes it's not. And when it's better, I keep that and I just keep working on that until I feel like it's it's about perfect. You want to ask him a question? Yeah. Yeah. What's your question? Ask him if he could sculpt humans and print them out on a 3D printer. Could could you print out um co color coloring of Skylanders? Coloring of Skylanders? Do you want a picture of Skylanders? <laughs> Do that. What's your uh, favorite character again? Oh. My favorite's Ninjini. Ninjini, and that's what I'm saying. The coloring paper that I do? No, that, what's your favorite Skylander? That will be Shrimble, Hothead. No, pick one. What? <laughs> that's a lot of them. Pick one. <laughs> okay, how about I print out some? Fine, Hothead. I can, I can print it out for you guys okay. and maybe sign it for you guys. Oh, like that. nice. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite variant? My favorite variant? Oh, huh, that's, that's an interesting question. Oh, that's a hard one. I think Flash, say, Flashwing uh, very end the, the No, the say one. Polar Roller. Oh. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> You're telling him what to say, huh? Mine is actually, uh, I like the, the Crusher too. The Crusher variant is really cool. What's yours? Uh, mine's Ninjini. The Scarlet one? Scarlet. Right here, huh, in my pocket? Yeah, I like You left me holding with her. <laughs> Was Chaos the first original bad guy idea? No, actually, uh, Chaos went through a lot of iterations. That means a lot of changes. Pictures of Chaos, how he became to be, okay? I'm gonna show you this picture. I don't think we can show anybody yet. But Chaos, at one point, he was gonna be like a real person. Did you know that? We thought about that and we drew a picture. And this is what he looked like. And he was kind of too scary and nah, you know. So we made him more like a, a cartoon character, huh? So that's what he used to look like. Before that, he was going to be this guy. That's what's going to be the bad chaos guy. But, you know, we decided that he kind of looked too much like a undead character. And yeah, like a monster. Yeah, and we did. Yeah, exactly. He was too monsterish and we wanted to be like chaos. Well, to be kind of like, the, a, kind of like a kid, you know? The horns that he had, it looks like, it looks like dark spiral. It kind of does. I then asked Iwei if choosing the variance colors was also his responsibility. The variance, yes. So we, we go ahead and um, try a lot of different, 
different variations. I can actually show you some of that. So it's not just like, oh, well, what if Crusher looks like this? It's it's like we have a sheet of probably like 20 different choices. Oh, really? You know? Okay. And and then we sit there and try to figure out which one's the coolest and, and go from there. Nice. I saw that you guys got all the um, Happy Meal. Happy Meal. Yeah. Uh, Skylanders. Yeah. yeah, good job. How about which one took the longest to... Uh to design. Which one took the longest? Um, I know which one took the longest. <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think it is? Who do you think it is? Uh, Ninji. I think but you're actually to... right. Ninji really? took the longest. We went through lots and lots of changes with her. We tried all kinds of different colors and different well, weapons and different. Can we see what first started off here? Did? Here's just one of many. I could draw Ninji really fast. You can? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. me too. You spell Michael, M-I-C-H-A-E-L? Alexis? L-A-L-E-X-A-S. Okay, for this, I'm gonna ask for a favor. My son loves you guys. Can I take a video of you guys saying hi to him? Oh, His heck yeah. Nico. Okay, go. Hi, Nico. It's the Skyline Good Morning Girl. Thank you. Thanks for watching us on YouTube. You rock. You rock. Nice. <laughs> awesome, thank you. You guys say thank you for the signatures? He's gonna love that. <laughs> <laughs> we watch your videos so many oh, times. Oh man, that's video. awesome. You better do the rest of them. Oh, we will, we <laughs> definitely <laughs> will. <laughs> we definitely <laughs> will. Skylander Boy and Girl then go on to interview Paul Ritchie, CEO of Toys for Bob. So what questions have you got for me? Why did you name the um, thing Skylander? That is a really good question. I wish I could tell you I was the one who came up with the name. We were, we knew that the land was called Skylands. But we were trying to come up with a name for the game and you would think that we would have thought of it right away. A young woman named Donna Wu, who was working on the game, suggested it and we had a whole long list of names that we were gonna call it. And then we, I'd say probably 20 of us got together and said, what is our favorite name? And Skylanders, it's funny, now it seems like of course that's the name, but we were going through all kinds of other crazy names. But when we finally got to Skylanders, everybody nodded and said, that's the name of it. How did Spyro get into the sky? That's a good question. We had, we were asked to make a new Spyro game. And that sounded fun, but then my boss was like, hey, Paul, it has to be something entirely new, completely different from any other kind of game. And then we, we started thinking about toys. We had never made toys before. And we're like, well, how can we combine toys in the video games that we make? And we said, well, Spyro is so cute. I want a toy of Spyro. What if he had lots and lots of friends? So Spyro and his friends is what we called it for a long time. We go with and those Spyro. are all, all um, Spyro friends. Yeah. Well, those, yeah, those are some of his best friends. He's probably got a lot of friends. Well, um, I really am liking Eyebrow right now. Let's see, who else do I really like? Hot Dog. I think the thing about Hot Dog that I like is that he is both very cute and very dangerous, you know. Um, you know how puppies sometimes tear things apart? Uh -huh. Imagine having a puppy who lit things on fire. You know, that to me was just a really cute <laughs> idea. But, oh, the, the puppy lit the house on fire. Mm -hmm. oh. And I know what's one took you guys forever to build. Which one? The genie. She took a long time. Mm -hmm. We made so many different versions of her. Um, I like where she ended up. And I, have you seen the different, um, I'm trying to remember what her name is, but there's an alternate color version of her. This one? Um, Yes, that's the one. Scarlet. Scarlet, that's what. We had to get her from Germany because she wasn't out yet in oh. the U.S. I think she's really cool. She's got, she uses some sort of classic Chinese colors that are awesome. The re so if you ask us the name of our characters, you would think that we would just go, oh, of course, Flashman, of course, it's you know, Scarlet and Genie. We name them things here in our heads and we'll talk about them. And then we come up with the real names towards the end. So sometimes we talk about like Gem, the Gem Dragon. We called Flashman the Gem Dragon for a year. Wow. Or, um, and so for us, sometimes you'll see us stumbling as we go through our old names. But Stealth Elf, we always call Stealth Elf. And I know which bad guy took forever to build. Which one? 
Chunky Bun 9000. Oh, yes, he did. How do you know all this inside information? Why don't you make more girls? Ooh, why don't you make that more girls? That is a good question. question. I love He's making fine. girl character Skylanders. And I think we should make them. Yeah. That's what I think. And how long did it take to make a Marvel Skylanders game? The first game took almost three years. Wow. And Part of that was because at the beginning we kept trying things out that didn't work and we just kept going, nope, that's too confusing or nope, that's not fun. Giants, since we already sort of knew what we were doing, um, and we made less characters for Giants, we, we made, let's see, we made 16 new characters, um, that one we were able to do in a year. Worked really hard this year. <laughs> Came home very late. Remember this next part where we asked about Swap Force and why they weren't working on it? Yeah. Yeah, remember? And then we heard about three new Series 3 Skylanders yeah. coming out? Yeah. That was so cool. Yeah. That's a Skylanders boy and girl exclusive, right? Yeah. We are working on the follow-up, sort of the next game, so we can each get two years to work on it. Okay. But we did all of the Series 3 the new series of our characters. Oh, you did? Okay. So we did all of those. Yeah, wait wait till you see Trigger Happy. Really? He's crazy. Yeah, I love him. Nice. Not Trigger Happy and Sprocket, especially. Nice. Have you seen series, have they shown series three chop chop yet? They have not. Oh, he's oh they're cool. coming. He's coming. Did you hear that? Series three chop chop, Sprocket, and Trigger Happy. Oh my god, that's so cool. And now, time for some top secret swap force in action. Swapping, swapping, swap complete. Come on, you guys can take jokes, right? Then we play a little Skylander Giants. So guys, we're in the we're in the testing room, right? So we're at Skylander's headquarters, so does that mean that everything should be on like level 15? Try it out. What level is she on? Um, let's see. Level, level two. two. Level two? Seriously? My baby brother can do better than that. Hey, do you know what? Guys, I'm gonna tell you a secret. What? Okay, so over there, watch, I'll show you. There, yeah? Well, at the beginning, when we just came to Skylander headquarters, when we, when we saw like in there and stuff, and we were taking pictures, do you know what? What? That desk, it, it was hidden as a watch book. You did? Yeah, I showed oh. Michael it. It's a blue octopus at a hat. I oh, saw it. We I missed it. That's the machine where Skylanders are printed up on. What's Look, they put Skylanders inside there and they print them up. That's cool, right? Whoa. Broken pieces. Look. Go brown flash wing tree rex. That's all clay. Wait, That's did so we cool, have to meet right? Alex? Right before we went to go interview Alex, we met all those uh, Toys for Bob's employees that really liked our Magic Element song. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah. It's the M A to the G I C. Get to the, the yeah. song, right? Yeah. With them. Yep. Oh, let's think, that song is awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm listening to it at home. <laughs> oh, My wife awesome. was like, "What is that?" I'm like, mm, "Like the most awesome song." <laughs> I was sure you guys were just working oh, for Activision. I'm like, really? No. They were so good. I'm like, this "That's actually like." Fans, yeah, and really you're awesome. so good. Like he's rapping exactly about their each of their powers yeah. and skills. Like it's not just random. And general. I figured it's all exactly correct. I got my up. <laughs> I'm you. That true statement. So this is Alex. You guys remember him? Hello right? again. He's the one that creates good the storyline. You. You're looking well, <laughs> as always. Say thank you. Thank you. I think that shirt is awesome. Nice. Do you create catchphrases? You know, the, I do uh, writing for almost everything they say. The catchphrases are the only ones that sometimes aren't mine. The names of the characters, names of the Skylanders and the catchphrases is something that gets debated. There's like a million suggestions and it's crazy. Like, so some of mine get in, but sometimes they don't. And Alex told us who Paul Ritchie has a crush on. Paul Ritchie has a crush on Persephone. Ooh. Paul Ritchie has a crush on Persephone. Ooh. Call me. Watch it, Paul. Persephone is mine. And then I asked Alex if the Christmas for Bad Guys 2 was produced at headquarters. Christmas for Bad Guys 2! Was that also done in house? Yeah, we did yeah. it all here. That's and nice. Just, uh... What voices? Oh, what characters do you 
Well, I did the ones in that, so like oh, I did okay. the Chompy Mage and Noodles and the Drill Robot. And then I do a few of the Skylines like Lightning Rod, Robot, and Double Trouble. Wasn't that an interesting story when I asked Alex Ness about the uh, Thumpback's Heroic Challenge, about the Gecko Chorus and who yeah. sang that? Take a listen to the story. That's a, that's a good story. There was a girl who was part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation who wanted to work, learn how to design games. We had her come out and talked about characters with her and, and we worked on a character with her that actually became Octavius Cloptimus, that okay. Oracle yep. dude. And then I worked on a challenge with her, just brainstormed me and her and a designer and she was telling me, and we come up with these geckos that work with Capybara, because she, she definitely got the whole crazy That's challenge really cool. thing. And she even said, she goes, my friends and I sing songs about Capybaras. We love them as animals. So I'm like, really? Can you sing it? And she did. I'm like, you want to go in the booth and record And that was it? So that's her. Wow, that's excellent. And then we excellent. just did pitched up versions and mixed them all together. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Yeah, so that's her lyrics and her song. And wow. It's in the game. It's that's really excellent. Fun. And she loved it too. So. That's really cool. You have two questions? No, no two he's gumballs. Got two. Oh, bro, you're supposed to be having questions, not gumballs. Unless this is a Q&A, &A, not a And of course, my camera dies as soon as I'm about to make a funny joke, which I will repeat. I told him it was a and a not a chew and a <laughs> Ah, good times. What's your favorite video of us? Definitely the song was amazing and like my son like is not even two song? and a half. Yeah, my son is not even two and a half, and he wants to hear that song all the time. <laughs> so you guys got something um, right. M A to the G I C elements and then guys to be a better listen up quick as I cover the six down. It's the magic, magic. First one to go, you should already know. It's the dragon. Have by the name of what's my Nice. Good job, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Grab this. Grab this old gym. Upgrade to best pal. What now? Choppy's running around. And they burn down. Yeah, the back has that. Really awesome. Come faster. Who next Mary ball that wreck in the road? Nice. Which one of you put the purpose? Look. And his tongue so smash, 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 and the move. And little guy that I've ever seen. Alright, that's another thing, guys. Good job. Let's go. Thank you, Bo uh, knows how to party Christmas disco. Song, sure, but it's not like Mr. Yeah, yeah that would be awesome. You guys, uh, I might ask you guys to do a cameo or oh something. Oh my god, that would be so heck yeah, I would be interested. Alright. That's awesome. Did you hear that? He said maybe we can be in the Skyliner's Christmas song. Oh my gosh. So cool. Do you know what else is cool? Signing our first autograph. <laughs> oh, we'll definitely sign that. Sure, you guys want to sign that for him? You guys signed your first autograph? Yeah. <laughs> Doom Sharks. Doom Sharks. So now we have to give it to him. Can I give it to him? Say what up. What up? We met, we met a subscriber here. What's up, little dude? <laughs> Which one's your favorite on this wall? Um, it's Chop Chop. Chop Chop, right? And finally, the Toys for Bob Skylanders Collection. Wow. Just wow. And you can see, that was an early Ninjini. What do you think about this? Mike, you see Granite Zoo? Yeah, I wanted to get it. Look at that. <laughs> this is the employees. Look at the employee of uh, Prison Break. Look at her hot head! Look, oh look, so look Flax Dump Smash. Look, look at Spyro. Oh, I have a bouncer! Look, Daddy! A Sky Meter Glow Machine! I know! Isn't that awesome? Okay. Oh, my God. I wanted to get one! This is heaven for him. Like. Okay. Okay. Because this is not a store, buddy. <gasps> I love that guy. Like, I love him. Look at all this. Yeah. So I'll show you guys the rest of the office real quick. People have broken up by. All the pictures yet. What's your favorite one in the case, Mike? Uh, that would be 
Stump the smash. extra like fuzzy stump smash. <laughs> you gotta head down there, okay, buddy? You gotta keep up with the group. Look, there's an overflow stump smash. Oh, Daddy Piracies! Oh, Daddy Piracies! Hey, Piracies! I do. I, you know what? I gotta say, actually, your, your, your Look, song Daddy put it up the end. <laughs> nice. What was Daddy. the coolest unreleased Skylander you saw so far? I would have to say. I don't know. I like all of them. What about in that case right over there? Oh, oh can, I do, can I pick one for each case? Yeah. Mine is that spiral. That spiral? No, that's the chrome one? My, mine is, um... We're going Skylander hunting! Oh, look what we found! Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, fuzzy, fuzzy stump smash. Fuzzy, fuzzy. Extra fuzzy. What's your favorite one in this case, guys? Mine is... Down here. Oh, oh you said the chrome one, right? Yeah. What about on this level? Mine is fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy stump How about you? Um, the one down here is that one, and that one, and that one, and my one up here is that one, and that one. You want all of them, huh? Look, there's Series 2 robot. <gasps> First time seeing it in person. But we don't have green. Though. Did Michael see that? Um, I don't think so. Michael, did you Look, see? Look, did you see Series 2 Droba? Mm -hmm. Chop chop. Oh, look at that flame slinger. I wish we could get the fright riders. Yeah. Oh, look at fright. He's reposed there. Oh, and then up? um, off the back yeah, and the, the zooks and the flames. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, he's little. Look at look at, look how tiny he is there. Who? Fright. I mean, rider. See how small rider is? Oh yeah. The middle rider. He's tiny. And look and look how um. How good that sprocket is. How what? How good that sprocket is. Oh, she looks cool. She looks like she's from the movie The Fifth Element. <laughs> well, look at this little tiny slam bam. <laughs> hey, do you guys see that? Look, yeah. a bash ball. Well, look, look. This is the um the chopper. See that? Daddy, look at that boomer. I know. Ew, oh, he's a tool. I see it. Oh, look, trigger snappy. That's so cute. Okay, what do we do now? Do we just like go around? <gasps> oh my gosh. Daddy, look at that piracies. The piracies? Oh wow, that's cool. Look at that ghost roaster. That one or that one? That goes first. The big one? Yeah, look at that sonic boom. He's like a grandpa. <laughs> oh, and look at um, all four of those. Look at that sonic boom. <gasps> you, do you guys like that snail, Skylander? Yeah. Oh, look at all this cool raptor. Series 2 Droba. So, okay, thank you very much for coming. We really appreciate it. We really hope you had a lot of fun. And as a um, Present. So we know you guys have every toy, right? There's just basically everything, and you're, I mean, you have a Scarlet and Jean, which isn't even out in America yet. And we have Croc. So we were like, well, what, are, what are we going to give you that would matter, and who cares? Because you already have all the toys, and we didn't know which ones you didn't have, and blah, blah, blah. So what we did is we got um, other toys signed by Iway, the guy that makes all the characters, and he designed all of these guys, and his signature is on the bottom of this Flashwing 
a toy, which is pretty cool. Nice. This poster is a big Skylanders poster, and it has everyone that works here signature on this poster. Oh, nice. So if it, to put it in perspective, there's way more Scarlet and Genies in the world than there are toys with E-Way signature on the bottom of them. <laughs> that I can promise you, and since you like Flash Week. And then um, yours is um, Gil Grunt. I don't know, something about, something about Gil Grunt made me think. Nice. Say thank and you. And there's some other little things in there. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's what you saw on the screen, right? Mike, take your Mike, bag. Mike, take your bag. Say thank there you. There you go. Every kid's dream gift. <laughs> and we really, we're so glad you came. And I really wanted this Gil Grunt. Danny has this Gil Grunt, too. He does? Oh, wait, no, no, no. oh, we don't have it either. Let's get a look at that. <laughs> I know, that's what it, they said every person Whoa. has to hold it. Hold it up, baby. That's so cool. Look at me everywhere. Everyone's signature. Those are all the people that helped make it. Oh, wow, okay. Do you say thank you to him? Thank you so much for trading. Oh, that was so fun. nice. Appreciate it. Oh, well, could I put oh, a dragon lighter too? Oh, there you go. See? Cool. That's all good. Hey, so did you have fun, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Show me the show me the skyliner you got. Nice. Flip it around. Oh, look at that shield. That's it's nice, right? And, and, and what's so special about the bottom? Because um, one of the person who like creates the Skylander, he signed it. Nice. What's his name? Iwe. Iwe. He's cool, right? Yeah. And his son. What's his son name? Nico. Nico. Say what's up, Nico. What's up, Nico? <laughs> I got this one. Oh, nice. Did Iwe sign the bottom of your Skylander? Let's see. Oh, nice. You say, thanks, Nico's dad. Thanks, Nico's dad. That's cool, huh? So we got these two guys. We don't even have these two guys, right? No. no. So this will be Michael's and this nice. will be mine. What was your favorite part of Skylander's headquarters? Oh, um, mine is like when I saw Lycor Popfish. You saw Lycor Popfish? Mm -hmm. Where? I didn't see it. It, it was. A, oh, I'm gonna slice it. Oh, I'm gonna shoot it. Hey guys, I have a poacher. I'm a poacher. Lex, look. I didn't know your brother was a cow. Mike, oh, yeah. Mike, you see the cow? Look what else we have. Ready? I visited Toys for Bob Studios on May 6th. Oh, they customized it. Oh, mommy, it says mommy, when you visited mommy. it, huh? Where's your Minjini? <gasps> mommy, where's your Minjini? You scared me. Uh oh, 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 yeah. Daddy, yeah. can we take a picture with the people? Now go watch one of our other videos. We have like 120. Go, go! Go, now. Bye-bye. 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 That's it. Bow, bow, See you bow, later. Bow. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. What happened to this Zook over here? Oh, poor guy. <laughs>